Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the QPR career mode. We've got some big games in this episode. We've got Crystal Palace away. Obviously, they've come down from the Premier League, so that won't be an easy game. We've got Cardiff at home, but then we're going to Anfield, and I'm, I guess, cautiously optimistic that maybe we can do something, especially if they play with a weakened side, but they probably won't. Um, that's not going to be an easy FA Cup game, that's for sure. But we'll obviously give it our absolute best. We are in the transfer window, but I've got no money. If players maybe receive offers to leave, I will obviously have a look. But uh, realistically, guys, I'm just focused on retaining this squad, getting it ready for next season, where hopefully we'll be playing games like this every week in the Premier League. We have a couple of somewhat tired legs. So I'm wondering if I go with Elliot but leave Diaw and then swap one of my centre-backs. I think actually we'll go Matriziani and then in the next game, swap the other two. We're just balancing the squad a little bit. I am going to put in Irobinam. I think he deserves a bit more game time. We'll give Cannon the captain's armband. And I think we'll, we'll leave it. Or shall I go with... No, see, I, I thought maybe Vale could go in, but he's lacking a little bit of fitness as well. Uh, let's have Kyle on the bench and we'll have Deli Ali there as well. That's a good ball. I'm in trouble here. Okay, Cannon's got back and he's done really well. All right, let's see if we can get forward. Scarlet now. We've got runners around. Oh, Cannon's going for it, but I'm going to give it to Elliot. And now into Cannon. This is really well played. Cross coming in. Um... <laughs> And then the cross is pretty woeful. Here is Elliot again. Scarlet's made a run. I don't think that's going to quite work. Oh, it might. They've got Rob Holding in defence. I kind of miss him at Arsenal. He was one of those players that's been around so long. He was signed by Arsene Wenger. And now he's gone. It's kind of sad. Oh, that's a hell of a ball. Diaw got to score. There we go. 1-0. And the Rob Holding defence hasn't lasted long. You guys know what's coming. It's got to be the cross from Doig. Oh, my God. No. It was a good ball. I think Elliot maybe could have done a little bit better with that. Maybe could have stepped back a little bit. Oh, he's injured. He's picked up an injury. Oh, that's really not good. Well, at least we do have Oscar Bob. But, yeah. Um, not today we don't. He is on the reserves resting for this game. Oh, no. Matriziani, you've got to get back here. Don't give away a penalty. And it's 1-0. And I think if he missed, that would have been a penalty because I completely took him out and it would have been yet another Koulibaly penalty. What? How's that made it through? What a save. Huge save from Cox there. That was an unreal pass into the box. I thought for sure I had it. By the way, it's good news. Elliot has ran off the injury, so I don't need to take him off. Oh, gosh, I thought that went in. I'm just going to run here with Diaw. Actually, wait, De Silva is in a better spot here. Inside to Scarlet. Oh, you're kidding me. Holding. How dare you? It's fine. We've got it back. Richards now. Into Scarlet. Has he got a finish on him, though? Left foot. Oh, it comes crashing off the post. Very nearly 2-1. Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. That is a thing of beauty. Right before halftime as well. Come on. In this second half, we get the third goal and we finish this off. Come on. You are joking me, right? One minute of added time and they've just scored pretty much in the 49th minute. It's ridiculous. The ref just wouldn't blow his whistle. Oh, well, I still need that third goal in the second half now, but it, it's just to get a one goal cushion and that is just not enough it seems no 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 oh Cannon I love you thank god he was there Scarlet up to Diaw come on this is the counter attack of dreams they're not going to be able to stop him he's so quick oh Diaw is Premier League ready he genuinely is and I think it could be hard to keep hold of him. He's going to be seriously unhappy if we don't win something with it. He's that good, guys. I'm telling you. I don't say that lightly. He is too good for this team. Try and get him in behind again here. Look at that. He makes such good runs. It's a good first touch as well. Try another finesse shot. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was almost a hat trick. He's just brilliant. We are shifting my defense completely over. So Matriziani and Cannon, and then Kyle is going to come on. I think it's time to bring off Diao, though. I know he's on a hat trick, but he's exhausted. So Sacco will come in on that left side. We've got about half an hour to go. You're kidding me. Why do I keep doing this? De Silva with... I, I get he's just stuck his leg out, hasn't he? With the ball completely gone. It's a penalty. It is. Top right corner. Oh, wow. Six goals. And the points will be shared at this rate. Come on, I need to find a winner. Oh, you... You're kidding me. I've hit the post again. Did you get a touch? No. Wow. Yes, go on, Sacco. Unleash your inner Diao. He just doesn't have it. <laughs> he doesn't have that, I'm afraid. He's doing all right, though. Here's De Silva. Little gap there. Couldn't quite make it through. We're running out of time here. I would be so happy if I found a winner. And that is not the pass I wanted. Uh-oh. We might be in trouble. Okay, they're taking their time. They just wasted an opportunity, I think. They might take it, though. Down this left side. Oh, no. Don't lose it. Take a draw against Palace if you have to. It's going to be a corner, isn't it? Oh, no. Guys, predictions. Is this going to be whipped in and a winner from Rob Holding? <laughs> it could happen. It's aimed towards Rob Holding. It almost was. I almost predicted it perfectly, and they're going to get another opportunity. He is captain today for Palace. And it's not aimed towards him this time. But that, I mean, it might be it. If I can just get a touch and boot it. Oh, no. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> Raquel May has won it for Crystal Palace in the dying seconds. I'm not going to win the league, am I? I'm, I'm going to finish second. I think that's where I'm destined. Blow the whistle. Why are we still playing? We're into the 94th minute. Oh, you're kidding me. I could have got on the attack. I kind of just passed it thinking he'd blow his whistle. I can't believe that's just happened. Again, you can't say these games aren't entertaining, guys. Absolutely mental. We had an absolutely massive offer come in for Reggie Cannon. 10.5 million. Nope. Blocked. Get out of here. Also an offer coming in for Harry Cox, who has been pretty much my go-to goalkeeper since we brought him in from the academy. Blocked. Go away, Monaco. Good price. Not bad. Two million, but no, there's no way I'd let him go. He's going to be worth so much more than that. So with that loss to Crystal Palace, they are now within four points and we're 10 points behind Burnley. So yeah. Um, Cardiff, though, they're in 20th and we're at home. You guys know what's about to happen. We've had another offer come in. Kyle. I mean, he was pretty good when he came on in that last game. I reckon he'll be really good. His hairline is receding quite a lot for a 16-year-old, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I could have chose a better face for him, but he's he looks like a very good player. Right, Cardiff, it is going to be a win. I don't care. It, it has to be. I can change up the team a little bit as well. Rest Koulibaly for the Liverpool game. Um, I'm going to put Arogbenam in again. Swap him with Field. And then on that left side, we will go with Vale. Instead of De Silva, we'll go with Deli Ali. And then up front, we'll go with Sacco. I mean, it's it's a relatively weaker side, but we win this 4-0. 2-0. I'll take it. And Deli Ali scored and Sacco scored as well. Okay, nice. So now we go into the Liverpool game, hopefully, with a fully fit squad and a win behind us. Here is the probable lineup. They've got Ben White. Okay. Um, they've signed Carvajal as well. They've gone with two new right backs this season. Rodrigo on the left, Werner up front, Salah, Grav Gravenberg. Is that what you, I, I used to call him Gravenberch, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Endo, Pascal Gross as well. What? What a signing. It's not the strongest team, though. That's the, the biggest takeaway here. Um, I reckon we can do something here. I really do. The problem is... We don't have a fully fit squad. Bob, once again, is looking a little bit tired, and so is Koulibaly, but they have to start. They have to. So Elliot will come on in the second half for Bob, 
And I guess Matriziani will probably have to come in for Koulibaly if he's too tired to continue. By the way, 88 pace now. 85 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 84 strength. And that's without the bonus stats. He's a monster at giving away penalties. All of a sudden, I'm not feeling so confident now. Um, their team is ridiculous. Okay, it's not their strongest lineup, but they're still starting players like Rodrigo. Van Dijk's in there, of course. It's a very strong Liverpool side compared to QPR. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. There's not much I can do other than just try. I don't think I'll keep a clean sheet, that's for sure. That's going to be the biggest struggle, keeping a clean sheet. Although, Timo Werner up front, you've always got a chance, haven't you? <laughs> Liverpool with a corner. Looks like they're going to go short. Salah and Rodrigo on the wings. Oh, <laughs> it's disgusting, isn't it? And he's got in. Oh, no. Ben White with the strike. Cox makes the save. I did think about starting ex-Liverpool goalkeeper Karius in this one. But no, I'm sticking with Cox. Again, out of context, that could sound so wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, Pascal Gross should probably score that. Well, I mean, at least I didn't give away the penalty. And Pascal Gross scores now. <laughs> um, I can't get the ball. They are just so much better in every way. I'm really, really struggling here. Oh, my God. Look, we've got the ball. Look at this. Oh, I'm passing it. Surely not. Wow, another pass. Come on, Diaw. Oh, he's miles offside. I'm just going to hit it anyway. Damn, the game wouldn't even let me have a strike. If I chipped Allison. I would have been so happy if it went in, even though it wouldn't have counted. Hello. Hello. Hang on. Oh, Oscar Bob. Get on that left foot. He's done so well here. Oh, my God. That might be the only shot we have in this game. Unless I have a shot from the halfway line, maybe. <laughs> right. Let's take this corner. This might be a huge opportunity. It's a good ball in. No, it's not. It's rubbish. No one there. I have to run back with Scarlet here. Let's play this safe. Nice. And then I give it away. Oh, Diao. No. So close to getting Diao in there. This is really good. We're actually starting to do all right here. Getting a decent amount of possession. Oh, no. And as soon as I say that, we lose it. This is where Timo Werner is an issue because he's got pace. I'm going to have to close down. Oh, no. No. <sighs> That is why I'm giving Cox game time, because I think he's going to be unbelievable. What a save that was. They're still going to get another chance, though. Don't let him shoot. What well on field. Oh, yeah, just give it straight back. Well done, Matt. Brilliant play. Where's he going, though? <laughs> Wrong way. Actually, no. Go that way. Oh, no. Yeah, 2-0. And it is Timo Werner. I shouldn't have joked about him. Oh, guys, this is only going one way. We've got space on this right side. Go on, Bob. Drive at them. Oh! Allison, that is an unbelievable save. There are opportunities, you know. It's not a perfect Liverpool side. Cabral on the end of that. No, okay. Let's see if we can do something from this. Scarlet into Bob. Trying to flick it through, but it's fine. We're still going here. Go on. Yes! Is he onside? We've scored at Anfield, and guess who? Of course it's Diaw. All right, come on, boys. And now it's just wave after wave of attack from Liverpool. That's a good tackle. I need to try and slow things down a little bit. Scarlett, spread the play. Oh, wow. He did well there. And now over the top for Diaw. Oh, go on. No, Van Dijk just said no. Nope. Welcome to Premier League quality football, mate. Because sit down effectively. Just no. And now we've got Salah coming down the right. He's going to pass it. Trying to cut off the passing line. Don't foul him. Yes, Doig. And that should be half... I mean, guys. <laughs> There's not much I can say after conceding like that. I'm not going to win this game. Very obviously. I can't believe that's just happened. <laughs> The odds of that. Okay. All right. Well, I can just get in the second half and do the best that I can. But you know the game's against you when that's happening. 
Good tackle, that. No, he hasn't kept that. The ref's given a foul for that. And the ref's on their side? <laughs> that was harsh. I thought I, I did all right there. Oh, no way. Yes, I've got it. Counter-attack. This is where we do the damage. Bob, over the top. What is that pass? Field. I'm taking him off. I'm taking him off. He's been driving me mad recently. Arubanam is, is the one. I much prefer him. I think Matriziani. Oh, that's a tough call. No, 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 no. We'll go Elliot. Harvey Elliott's brother <laughs> is coming on against Liverpool. I don't think Harvey Elliott's on the on the on the squad in the squad today. I, I don't think so. Here's Gakpo. It's gonna be four, isn't it? Oh wow. Was that a save or no, he's just hit the post. What a shame. Oh no. There's Salah. There's 4-1. This could get a little bit messy. <laughs> Gakpo has come on and absolutely changed their game. He's unreal. And that could have easily been five. Is that Sabozlai on now as well? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. You know, just, just make things even harder for me, game. Go on, Diaw. Do something. No, even Diaw can't work his magic today. He got his goal, but it was a little bit of a tap in. So I don't think that really counts. <laughs> oh gosh Gakpo isn't he right footed why is he whacking in a free kick with his left what I'm pretty sure he's right footed 5-1 yeah I mean I would like to say the squad is ready for Premier League football but it ain't ready for Liverpool football there's absolutely no way we'd get even close to the top 10 I think I don't know what, I don't even know what to say it's ridiculous, isn't it? The quality gap. Here is Diaw. Maybe he can work his magic. Oh. It was on target, at least. It was something. Make a run, Elliot. Yes. Surely. Is it going to be a second goal for us? It is. It's 5-2. I mean, in fairness, that, that's not too bad. It's, it's obviously not great, but <laughs> it's not awful. I'm waiting for Diaw to make a run, but he's not going to. We'll give it over here to Richards. And now through for Elliot. I'll tell you what, he's come on and done great. He could get another one here. Go on, son. Oh, straight to Allison. We'll get a corner. I mean, there's still 10 minutes left. You never know, guys. You never know. We could still win this 6-5. Maybe not, but you know. Diaw with the corner. That's going to be another corner. I'll take that. Do I go short, maybe? Yeah, I think we do. We'll give it to Richards. He's pretty much unmarked. Oh, edge of the box. Hello. Elliot. Oh. That would have been an absolute dream goal. Oh, my God. Salah. Oh, he's hit the post. Really should have been six. All right, last chance now. We'll get forward. Maybe we can get a third. Make it even more respectable. Diaw into Scarlet. Oh, wow. Endo. No, he's made a mistake. Can Richards get there, though? No. I've got to say, I know, I know I'm an Arsenal fan and I'm probably a bit biased, but Ben White has been incredible. And now Salah's in. It will be six. Come on, Cox. Yeah. 6-2. <laughs> we have been well and truly slapped to Anfield. Oh, the referee's being kind. We might get a little bit more time. Richards. Into Scarlet. Oh, my God. 6-3. I'm not celebrating that. No, Scarlet, stop. Stop, 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 stop. It's embarrassing, boys. We don't need to do that. And there we have it. Right. Um, well, obviously, we're not continuing the FA Cup journey. It was very unlucky to get Liverpool so early on. But now we've seen the quality. This is where we want to get eventually. And I reckon that player right there, Diaw, has potential to be... I mean, he could get into the Liverpool team within a few seasons, I reckon. He's already 78 rated, I think. I'm not, I'm not saying he'll be as good as Salah, but, you know, he's probably the only player right now that is elevating this team to a Premier League standard. Scarlet sometimes, he's had a bit of a quiet few games, but I think what we've seen here is we're ready for Premier League football, but not quite this level. What bothers me is we could have had Blackpool, Bristol, Oxford, Millwall. We could have had so many other teams, Carlisle, Birmingham, but no, we got Liverpool. It's just, it's typical, isn't it? It really is. We had so many other available teams, but that's football for you. Are we going to get any offers coming in? Oh, I don't think Field's going to be happy. Ooh. Um, 
Really? You want me to strengthen the team? Mate, I, have you... Look, listen here, mate. Look at this team. Look what I've built in 18 months. Not even 18 months, like 16 months. This is a ridiculously strong team going into the final few months of season two. So shut your face or I will drop you. You're not that good. You're 77 rated, but you're, you're not really. You don't feel 77 rated. There is no way Field is the one for me in DM. He will be replaced at some point. <laughs> so hush. Don't give me attitude, bro. This is an unreal team that I'm building. Just, yeah. Um, we'll be back in the next episode with a game against Southampton who are in sixth. They are one of the teams that might catch us if we start dropping points consistently. 10 points below Burnley, but still six points clear of Crystal Palace and even further ahead of Stoke. So I don't think we're in real danger, but if I lose a couple of games on the bounce, that danger will close in on us. So um, yeah, we'll be back to finish off the transfer window tomorrow. We'll play all the games and um, we'll see where we are. So thank you for watching, guys. I'm sorry for no video on Friday. Um, and I'm sorry for cutting this one a little bit short. I'm still having stomach problems. I'm actually going for a, a scan in about an hour. So that's why I'm going off now. But I'm getting my videos up as, as much as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.